All right. Man, Devin Haney tells on himself and an eyewitness to Gervonta Davis staggering Devin Haney appears. An admission and an eyewitness testimony is what I have for you today. So we can put to rest this idea that Gervonta Davis did not seriously hurt Devin Haney on multiple occasions. The person making the admission, a tacit admission, is Devin Haney. And the person that says that they I witnessed it, witnessed it in Baltimore, Maryland. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we continue to live in the land of sparring stories started by Devin Haney's camp. The latest sparring story that just popped up was that Devin Haney beat up Floyd Mayweather Jr. and ended Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s career. And that Floyd Mayweather Jr., after taking a 6-0 beating, by Devin Haney, retired from the sport of boxing. And this was before the Conor McGregor fight. Mighty convenient that this story pops up right after Devin Haney himself makes a tacit admission about what happened with Gervonta. And right in time to pour Gervonta Davis's name and Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s name all around, all over an event that doesn't have that much gust, gusto behind it without them doing that. Before I get into the details, though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos, which we do on a daily basis. But let's get right into this. Floyd Mayweather Jr. sparred Devin Haney, Devin Haney sparred Gervonta Davis twice. There's a fight coming up between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia said that he saw a sparring match that took place between Devin Haney and Gervonta Tank Davis. And it was shown by Floyd Mayweather Jr., of course, they have been denying, Devin Haney's camp had been denying that Gervonta Davis knocked out Devin Haney, hurt Devin Haney very seriously, and denied the story that Gervonta Davis told about it, which was that they stopped the fight to save Devin from getting hurt. And then after that, the fight continued, and then Devin Haney got the best of it after that had taken place. But they denied that this had ever happened. Then Devin made a slip up just yesterday. And how did I, why do I say made a slip up? Because he was, as, as Ryan Garcia was explaining that he saw the video, what happened, where he was. He said he was in the car and Floyd said, hey, look at this. And he said, look, man, I'm not holding it against you, Devin. You were young, 16, 17 years old at the time. You know, that doesn't mean a lot that you got hurt by Gervonta, but man, it happened. And Devin Haney then said something, which is a tacit admission. He said, Floyd Mayweather, Floyd didn't show you that. He would never do that. Would you say Devin again? I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Floyd didn't show you that. He would never do that. He would never do what? He would show you. He would never show you that. He'd never show you what? The tape of you getting hurt by Gervonta Davis. He didn't say that tape doesn't exist. He didn't say that, man, how could he show you it and never happened? He just said he wouldn't show you it. He would never do that. That, Gerv that Floyd would never show you the tape. Not that the tape didn't exist. But if that was not enough for me, and I'm telling you what I'm telling you, that there was somebody that came by my live stream that is from the Upton Gym. 
out of Baltimore, Maryland, and said that they saw that exact same thing happen as far as Devin Haney getting hurt a couple years before that in Baltimore, Maryland, where Devin Haney and Bill Haney came out to the Upton gym and said, hey, we don't get a lot of good work in Vegas. So we want we flew out here to get some work with Gervonta Davis because they had heard that Gervonta Davis was a very good amateur and they wanted to get the work and that Gervonta Davis hurt Devin Haney then. Now, what's the connection between the two of these things? The connection between the two is that Devin Haney got hit by Gervonta and got wobbled. Now, is that somehow unbelievable? No, it is not. Why is that? Why do I say it's not unbelievable? Because Gervonta Davis has 28 fights and or 29 fights and he's got 27 knockouts. It's very obvious if Gervonta Davis hits you that Gervonta Davis has the ability to wobble you. That would be like being surprised about that would be like being surprised that Deontay Wilder lands a clean shot on you and he wobbled you. Of course, he can wobble you. He's Deontay Wilder. Of course, you can he can wobble you. You're Devin Haney. I mean, you're Gervonta Davis, right? He's Gervonta Davis. Doesn't speak about Devin Haney and the quality of fighter that he is. However, let me do address this new rumor about Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Devin Haney. Floyd Mayweather Jr. had been retired two years before he fought Conor McGregor. That was not retirement. That was not coming out of retirement. That was an exhibition fight against a guy when he was, I do believe, a uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. was pushing 40 years old at the time. I think that was, what was that, 2017? So that's three, that's seven years ago. So he's pushing, he's pushing 40 years old if he was not already 40 years at the 40 years old at the time. So you have Devin Haney, who is who seven years ago was 18, versus somebody that is 40 years old. And you say that you're the reason he retired. He was 40 years old. Come on, man. And passing a torch. What torch? And if you pass the torch, when are you going to light the torch? OK, man, please. All of this stuff about Devin Haney and sparring would not be going on around if Devin and Bill Haney did not constantly talk about sparring. And I also got to go do this one. Why would not? Why would Devin Haney think that, that Floyd Mayweather Jr. wouldn't show somebody that tape? Because old school guys don't show sparring tapes, generally speaking. They say, you know, the, you know what it is. The spar, what, ha- what happens in sparring stays in sparring. It was only Devin and Bill Haney that started busting out uh, sparring tapes on everybody. So they may be willing to do it, but Floyd Mayweather Jr. wouldn't be willing to do that. So we don't believe he would actually show that to you because he wouldn't. Sh- that's not something that Floyd would do. That's not something these old school fighters would do when they say, hey, man, we're in here sparring. You know, we're trying to work for if us for us each to get better. I'm not going to put you on blast for what happens in sparring. Right. Because that's something that would be considered amongst fighters. My understanding is uh, is that it, it that is being uh, that it is what you call unethical. <laughs> but that's not above Devin and Bill Haney to do it. It's just above Floyd Mayweather Jr. to do it. But anyway, it is what it is. One guy that I spoke to that is in Upton Gym, and you know I know people in Upton Gym, said it actually happened in Upton Gym. Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s uh, trainer, Nate Jones, um, um, Adrian uh, Adrian Broner, and several other people in there also said it happened when he fought Gervonta Davis the first time. But it is what it is. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces. 